Warnings, you see them right now. Multiple rounds of storms have already come through the area, and Crystal will have an update that will happen in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, the potential for more heavy rain has some Irvington homeowners really nervous about what yeah. may come. It was only a week ago that a flash flood left some streets and basements overflowing with water. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan has more tonight on their concerns now. Sometimes it's just fate. Starling, are you scared of floods? that seems to find a way. Thinking of the what ifs <coughs> makes me physically like ill. He says, yes ma'am, please don't make that happen again. It was only a week ago that Sarah Myers was in her Irvington home where she fosters kittens. I was looking at my gutters and noticing um, just the rush of uh, rain coming out of them. So she made a quick call to her father. He said, go check your basement in about an hour. 20 minutes roll by. I'm like, no, I'm gonna go check now. What did she find? Flooding up to her second step with her foster kittens facing a terrible fate. Had I gone to work, they probably would have drowned in their pen. Flooding happens all too often at Whittier Place as well as nearby parts of Irvington. This was last week on Burgess. Neighbors now call their street Lake Burgess. Residents in these spots say they fear tonight's potential storms. I put all the money into this room to foster kittens on my own time. She's already lost hundreds of dollars removing damaged walls and destroyed cat supplies. The biggest thing somebody can do to prepare for a big rainstorm is to simply check and make sure that their sump pump is working. Jack Hope so of Hope Plumbing really suggests owners install a backup sump as well. The pumps that we see last the longest are the ones that uh, honestly are used the most. If both fail, take a shop back and try to keep up with the water. Myers has two sumps in her home. I've spent the entire day taking everything and putting it up off of the floor. Just in case they can't keep up. In Irvington, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Neighbors have reached out to Citizens Energy looking for help with their flooding. The company tells us anyone with issues should call Citizens and choose the prompt for wastewater emergencies. Citizens Energy will send out a crew to check some storm drains and rain or shine that should happen.